okay so welcome back so in this section we're going to add authentication authorization uh, to our api okay so in this video first of all i have to create the model for the user and in our next video we are going to register the user and encrypt the password all right so in this video we just have to create the model of the user before that i have to install the packages related to this um uh, section basically so if you a new terminal here terminal number two this one let's simply install here first of all npm i we have to install the bcrypt bcrypt js bcrypt js to uh, encrypt our password then we have to also install json web token so json web token and then we also have to install the validator so validator is going to help us to validate our data like email and after validator i also type here node mailer node mailer help us to send the emails like we also have to send the recovery password email so in this section we will use the bcrypt to encrypt our passwords json app tokens to handle our token validator to validate our email and also other uh, like fields if you want to, uh, if you want to validate and also we have to use the node mailer to send the emails okay so i think so in this section we are going to use only these four packages okay so all packages are installed successfully uh, we also have to install uh, i forgot to put here npm i cookie parser uh, because we have to use the cookies to store our pa token or token so we have to also store install the cookie parser and now let's also install the body parser body dash parser and now i think so we are good to go so install the cookie parser and body parser also Okay, so also these two packages are installed successfully. If I go to my package or JSON file, you can see that we have our bcrypt.js, body parser, cookie parser, JSON app token, node mailer, validator, good. Okay, so now if I simply go to my models and create here new, that is user.js. Okay. In here, first of all, let's import the mongoose. Mongoose equals to require mongoose. And also I have to import the validator. So validator equals to require the validator. And we also have to just type here const user schema equals to new mongoose dot schema. And after that we have type here module dot exports equals to mongoose dot model and in here we simply have to pass here the user model and then the user schema okay and first of all we have to type here the name of the user so name oops that is type is string okay and required is definitely true please enter your name okay and then also I type here the max length so we type here uh, let's type here 30 I think so it is enough so, uh, your name cannot exceed 30 characters and then uh, I think so it is enough then let's handle the email of the user type is going to be string and then required is true so please enter your email again this autocomplete is done by the tab 9 extension that I have installed in my VS Code. Okay, and then I have type here unique 
that will be true because I want to have each user with the unique email address. I cannot have two users with same email address. So unique is true. This means that uh, the email is always going to be unique. All right. And also you have to validate the email. So validate, validate, and the validate I simply use here validator. So validator dot is email will check that it is email or not. And if it is not, then here is going to display the message. Please enter a valid email address. Okay. So validate and validate dot email dot is email will check that this is email or not. If it is not, then it is going to print the message that please enter valid email address. Okay. So name email and now we have to handle the password. Type is going to be string definitely and then uh, required is true so please enter password. Then we have to type here the minimum length of the password. So minimum length. Not it is optional but I want to put here the six. The password cannot be less than six characters. So your password must be uh, longer than six characters. So you can see that how helpful this extension is. It is automatically detecting uh, the autocomplete and completing my code. Okay. And then select is false. So this means select false means that whenever I want to display the user, I don't want to display the password of the user. So name, email, password, and then the avatar of the user, the profile picture. And that is has that is going to be an object that contains two things. First of all, the public ID of that image that is type string, and then the required is true. And also we have the URL of that image. So type is string and required is true. Again. We are going to use a cloudinary for our avatar to upload the picture of the user and that will give us two things the ID of that image and the URL of that image. So we will store that ID and URL in the avatar object or uh, in the avatar field of the Mongo. Okay. And then we have here the role of the user. So role that is type string and default is going to be a user okay so role mean that it is admin or user so by default it is going to be at a user then after role we have here the created at type that is going to be date and then default is going to be date dot now and then we have to add one two more fields here first of all the reset password token so reset password token that is going to be string then reset a password expire that is going to be date so this means that we have whenever user forgot the password so it will request for the uh, new password to recover its password we send the email to the user with the token so we will uh, we have to store that token and the expiry date of that token in the database so that is a reset password token and then the expiry time okay so we have to also store that so now we are done with our uh, user model. In my next video, I will basically uh, register my user and encrypt the password before registering the user or saving the user in the database. Okay. So I hope that you understand. So I will see you in the next video.